at what point does it stop being a spectacle and it's more about the music? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What's good, y'all? Shibo Ross back at it again with another video. So, for those who may not know, the BET Awards was this past weekend, and all the stars came out in their fancy dresses and in suits and whatever they had on. You know, all the entertainers, you know, majority of the entertainers was out to, you know, be in attendance at the BET Awards. And uh, Lil Nas X had his uh, very uh, interesting. Uh, choice of very you know flamboyant dress on uh you know showing his pride and then you know who he is his inner self you know that's cool do what you do or whatever and then uh he performed later on that night um and at the end of the performance uh yeah he started making out with uh one of the background dancers as you see uh in the intro clip of this video look I'm not here to hate. I'm not. I have talked about Little Nas X on my channel. For those who don't know, or if you can't tell behind me, I'm a sneakerhead. I love uh, I love shoes. I love kicks. And uh, he recently had dropped the uh, a pair of Air Max 97s, like Satan inspired kicks. And you know, there was a whole little situation about that. Nike was trying to sue the company that made it. But you know, it was it was. He had a lot of people in the uproar about those shoes. Um, and, you know, also in the fact that he was grinding on the devil in the little video he was promoting. So when I seen this, him kissing, tongue kissing his background dancer, who was, happens to be a, uh, another guy. I just started really thinking like, yo, we get it. You're gay. I, I don't think anyone... Well, I can't say, let me not say that. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people, you know, was very opinionated on him coming out as gay or whatever. Um, and that's that's fine. You know, people are entitled to their opinions, but I didn't really care. You know, my group of, you know, friends in my circle, they didn't really care. It's just, it's just one of those things like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, oh, I can not never listen to Old Town Road anymore. I, I, don't, I don't care. Like, it's not that big of a deal. You coming out as gay is, it's like, all right, what else? You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. Um, but I think it starts becoming an issue when it's like you're throwing it in people's faces. Like, hey, guys, I like guys. Like, uh, And once again, I have to say this because they're probably going to be somebody. Why he can't express himself? He can express himself. But at, at what point does it become just expressing yourself and then just really pushing down the message that i am gay accept me for me being me and and enjoy it embrace it and it's like let me be honest with you and you can call me a homophobe i'm definitely not i don't have a problem with anyone's sexual preferences unless you want some weird stuff you know if you want some edp uh, 445 stuff that's a no-go but outside of that you know hey do what you do but I, me personally, I'm not just really wanting to see another guy tongue down another guy for the sake of just doing it because he knows it's going to get attention. He knows people are going to talk about it. He knows that's what's going to drive a lot of the, the, the narratives is, you know, man, he's really, he's really being, you know, putting himself in the in the, the limelight of you know who he is and like i said there's nothing wrong with embracing who you are i think everyone should embrace who they are but at some point it's like is it more about embracing who you are or is it more about the intention that comes with it you know is it more to help someone that's feeling like that as a young at a young age like they're not sure if they want to come out and express who they truly are or is it more about, you know, just the spectacle of it, you know? And that's that's kind of where I've been, like, feeling lately. Like, and not just with him, with 
any other person that feels some type of way about who they are and they want to express it that's fine that's cool you know what i'm saying that's that's dope to have that courage to you know come out and say hey this is who i am and i'm proud to be this way that's awesome but when you just start exploiting that that's how i kind of see it this exploitation because you know me tongue kissing the guy at the end is gonna cause some uproar it's gonna cause some good uproar and then it's gonna cause a lot of people to be like what the f what the f is this what, what what are we doing now that's why i said at the beginning of the video is it about the music or is it about the spectacle because i don't feel like it's about the music anymore his antics this past year have not really been more so about the music in my personal opinion but i could be wrong on this maybe Maybe this is just how he wants to express himself. Cool. Me, personally, it's just like, ah, all right, man. I just feel like you do it too much, bro. I feel like we get it. You like guys. Congratulations. Like, come on, bro. Like, ooh, I, I guess. I guess. So, this is going to be a, a potentially controversial video on my channel. You know, I would like to get your guys' uh, thoughts and opinions on this. Like I said, uh, I'm definitely not homophobic. It's crazy. I got to keep reiterating that. For someone that may think, oh, well, you didn't like it, so you got to be homophobic. No, if, if I don't want to see another guy tonguing down another guy at the end of his performance, it's not something I care to see. If it's there, it's like, whatever, cool. But I, like I said, I just don't feel like it's that's a genuine thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like that's more of a just a uh, publicity stunt not saying that he's not actually gay i'm sure he is but it's more it's more about the spectacle than the actual message behind it because he's been promoting that so we get it you know what i'm saying i, I don't think anyone's questioning who you, what type of you know who you're into i just think when you start doing the extra the most to get a little bit more of that attention it, it just doesn't seem genuine it just it seems very staged and pre-planned so comment down below let me know do you guys agree with me do you guys think he's doing this really just for extra attention or do you guys feel like that was just just the heat of the moment and that background dancer was just you know just calling his name he, he was killing it on the moves and you know he he had to show his passion and affection in front of millions yeah i want to know appreciate all the love and support bro to 50k i hope i don't get canceled from this i probably won't it is what it is